all right, you cool cats and kittens. They were playing the only game where speed means that you're going to survive. It's sharp by two. So today we're doing something a little different. I, I'm basically going to be going through each and every boat along with cylinder or most of the boats that are somewhat decent. And we're going to be judging which one is the best. We, we will include the boat builder boats. We're going to be primarily focusing on the ones that actually are, you know, somewhat decent. So we're basically going to be going through each and every boat and and at the end we're going to determine which one is actually the best. So first off is the Frigate Warship, or as Cylinder likes to call it, the San Diego. Uh, and this thing is pretty good, but you kind of need to deck it out with guns and cannons in order for it to actually do somewhat decently well, and it doesn't fit under that. And basically what you do is that when you use it, basically just hammer the shark until it dies. You're likely to survive in it since even if the boat takes a little bit of damage, it's going to do decently well. The main problem with the Frigate Warship is that you can't really see with it. It's really hard to tell where the shark is. Oh, and the shark's dead. Nice. So yeah, it's it's pretty OP, but it does it does cost a lot, and it's probably not worth it. But it is really OP. Next up, we're going to check out is the Marlin, which is probably the fastest boat in the game. Okay, so this boat is a... Oh my god. Okay, clearly I've not played this game in ages. This boat is by far the fastest boat. Uh, if you want to have, if you want to either just mess around with your friend, obviously it doesn't have too many seats. But if you have a really OP gun, let's say per the rocket launcher or the shark blaster, you're going to be killing the shark. And one of the main things you need to survive around in Shark by Two is that you do need to be fast, because then you can outpace the shark, and so even if it's coming for you, and it's a pretty decent boat. The main nitpick is that if you crash into an island. You're going to be stuck upside down. So there's... Oh, and another boat. No! Yeah, see, this is the thing when you crash into an island. But yeah, that obviously it has just this one nitpick. But as long as you can flip it back up the right way, it's fine. And you can easily kill the shark like that. Oh, never mind. We're going on oil rig. This is by far not the best boat in the game. Ah, my head's stuck. Stuck. This is a little hint to what a future video might be. Next up is the speedboat, or as I call it, the Shark Destiny. This is a boat where it's probably the best boat in the game, realistically, because it's customizable, it's fast enough basically to outrun any boat. And whilst it's not the fastest boat, you can equip a lot of stuff to it and you can fit a lot of people on it. As well as you can just customize it to, your, well, it's to the extent that you want to. And you also got to be careful of either. Yeah, that will happen. Somehow we're still alive. Even though we landed right on top of the shark. Fortunate thing about the speedboat is that it doesn't also flip when you hit islands. So, And we killed the shark. Nice. Yeah, the speedboat is a pretty good one. Alright, next up is the sport yacht. Or as I like to call it, the human psychology. And this one isn't necessarily a fast one. It doesn't have great handling. But it is customizable and it's got two floors, so you can fit the largest one on here. And we're going up against Shortman Mapper, of course we are. But you can fit plenty of people on here, you can customize it to your own free will. More of a customized boat than an actual playtime boat. Yes, yeah, it's not really the best boat in the game, but. Yeah. As you can tell, but. It's not the best when it comes to speed, but it is the bet, but it is pretty good when it comes to power. As well as so just durability, but I just but, oh, didn't do well there. Now that I have the time to talk about it, the combat boat is sort of an odd one. It's sort of like the sport yacht. But since me since neither me or Cylinder have it, I'll probably do it for a future video. But yeah, the combat boat is probably in, a lot of people will think it's the best boat. It, I mean, it is pretty fast. Its handling is not great, but it is small in size. And in my opinion, the combat boat might just be the best boat in the entire game. All right, next up is the military submarine, which is a... Uh, so this is by far the best submarine. They've already managed to survive a ton of rounds with it. And it has two rocket launchers, which is notable, which means it's probably better than the combat boat. The main problem with the military submarine, however, is that your position is always given away to the shark. 
you kind of need to hope that the shark doesn't notice you. But even if he, the shark does notice you, as long as it's a default shark, you should be able to avoid it. I was even the uh, orca at one point with this thing. I, I was going up against this thing and I died as an orca. It's really easy to hit the shark with this thing as well. And the shark's dead. And finally, we have the jet ski, which is probably the most nimble boat. If, if you want a chance of surviving and being fast, then this is probably your best shot. If you want to AFK, again, this is probably the best boat that you can have. It's fast, it's small, the sharks often, often, you know, miss it. And it is probably one of the best boats in the entire game, honestly. Probably not the best, but I just, I figured I'd put it on here because it is pretty good. Going right over the top of the It's definitely a boat that if you want to grind with, if you want to look for grinding, this is probably the best boat you can get. Just pelting bullets. And there we go. He's dead. Alright, so. Ultimate conclusion. Alright, Cylinder, what do you think is the best boat? Honestly, I'd say the speedboat. I'd have to agree to an extent. However, the combat boat is... Certainly a competitor. I would say, personally, it's kind of a coin toss. And I think at that point, it's kind of up to you guys whether you think the combat boat or the speed boat is the best boat. Or maybe you have some other boat. Leave a comment down below what we sh what you think is the best boat. And why you and also why you think that. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, set the bell, and come back in two years for the next video. Leave a like, share with a friend, join the Discord, you know what to do, guys, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye